Welcome to Understanding Thermoforming, a presentation by Shepherd Thermoforming. For over 25 years, Shepherd Thermoforming has been leading the way in custom thermoforming with a strong focus on sustainability and the environment. Thermoforming is one of the oldest methods of shaping plastics into useful products. Originally referred to as vacuum forming, the process involves heating a sheet of plastic until it approaches the point of melting and then introducing it to a form or mold. Vacuum pressure draws the hot material against the mold to take on its shape, hence the terms vacuum forming and thermoforming. Basically, they mean the same thing. Thermoformed goods can be found all around in packaging and in the products themselves. Thermoforming can be a great solution for your production needs. As a custom thermoformer, Shepard welcomes new clients who have an idea but don't yet have the design clearly laid out. The product can start out as something as simple as a sketch on a napkin and is translated into a complete engineered drawing by Shepard's in-house team of engineers who use state-of-the-art software such as Simmetron. Because the designing is done in-house, there is a short turnaround time from concept to finished CAD drawing. Once the design has been approved, it heads into prototype production, another unique in-house feature at Shepard. The prototype is CNC machined out of a composite material such as Renwood, or in this case, solid aluminum. Tiny vacuum holes must then be hand drilled to help evacuate all of the air between the tool and material, and to help draw the plastic tight against the mold. The tool must now be polished by hand to remove any marks left by the CNC machine. Another unique feature at Shepard is our in-house sample making workstation, capable of making complete, production quality samples. This process is a great way of proving out new products and packaging, and lets you see exactly what the finished part will look like. The process is exactly the same as a full production run, just on a smaller scale. The technician places the plastic sheet into the machine. It automatically slides into an oven, much like the one in your kitchen. The hot plastic is then introduced to the tool we saw being made earlier. Vacuum pressure is then applied to suck the plastic into the mold, and after some cooling time, the part is released. It is then hand trimmed, and that's it. You now have a thermoformed finished prototype. Production is the exact same, only on a bigger scale. The tools are in multiple sets to maximize efficiency, and the process is far more automated. At Shepard, we try very hard to use recycled RPET plastics whenever possible. RPET is basically recycled water bottles. The bottles, along with virtually all trim from previous production runs, are ground up into flake and sent off to our supplier where it is melted and extruded into a new roll of RPET. Up to 100% of the plastic is composed of post-consumer product. The new rolls arrive and are placed on the production machines. The plastic is fed into a hot oven where it is heated up to the point of melting. It then feeds out where it droops over the waiting mold. Vacuum pressure is applied sucking the hot material into the tool and a plug assist drops down to further aid in the forming of the product. The tool stays closed momentarily to allow the product to cool. Then it is released and another hot sheet takes its place. The trim station acts like a big cookie cutter, automatically trimming each part with a sharpened die. The parts are then automatically stacked, counted and weighed by hand. The boxes are palletized and shipped off to the consumer. It's that simple, and all of the leftover plastics are ground up and reused. The forming process can take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, depending on the type of part being formed. Heavy gauge forming is for larger products such as material handling pallets or bathtub liners seen here. Heavy gauge material starts at 80 thousandths of an inch, and Shepard can form material up to half an inch thick. Because of the thickness and overall size of heavy gauge operations, the production time is longer and requires additional steps compared to a thin gauge product. 
First, the sheet is placed on the machine by hand. The material is heated up in an oven almost to the point of melting. This can take up to five minutes or more, and then placed over a mold, vacuumed to shape, cooled, and removed, and it starts all over again. The product must be trimmed with a twin head CNC router, trim press, or hand routers depending on the product. We hope you enjoyed learning about thermoforming with us. For more information or if you're interested in attending one of our free seminars, please feel free to contact us.